If you find JavaScript hard to learn, you need first to know in which category of programmers or aspiring programmers you belong. If you're an absolute beginner and that the only thing you, you learned before JavaScript was HTML and CSS, then sure, JavaScript is a totally different beast because it's a real programming language, while HTML is just a way of structuring a web page and CSS, which may be very advanced, but at first it's just a way to make the page look good. So the first time you're exposed to JavaScript, if it's your first programming language, that means you have to learn all the fundamentals of programming, like knowing what is a constant, what is a function, what is a class, what is a method, etc. etc. So you see, that puts a lot of um, pressure on you because you have many, many things to learn on top of JavaScript. So be aware of that. It's normal that it takes more time for you to learn JavaScript than it would take for a guy who already knows Java or C Sharp or C or PHP. If you're already a programmer and even a seasoned programmer, which I was when I first got exposed to JavaScript, I have a C Sharp background, so I was a back-end programmer. And at first, I could understand what was going on when I saw for the first time a JavaScript program. So I said to myself, oh, I don't need to learn it. <laughs> so you see, it's, it may sound weird, but uh, if when you know a, a language that looks like a C language, meaning that uh, you, you know all the concepts like uh, constant variables, classes, methods, and even with C sharp generics and uh, all these kind of things and also interacting with the database. So it was, it looked easy. But then as I got tricked by JavaScript, I realized that it's it's a different language, especially because it's at the crossroad of object-oriented programming and functional programming. So I'm sure if you've been exposed to JavaScript for a week or two, you've already heard that uh, in JavaScript, functions are first-class citizen. And at first it's weird that in JavaScript you can pass uh, functions as the parameter of another function, that a function can return a function, that uh, all these kind of weird things. I know that now uh, it's the case in other languages or in purely functional programming, that at first when you come from a traditional programming language at first, this is something that is really weird when you go to JavaScript. The other thing that makes JavaScript difficult to learn is that there is a lot of syntactic sugar. For example, since ECMAScript 6, it's possible to create a class using the class keyword as we do in so many languages. But actually, the class keyword in JavaScript is just programming sugar for the prototype that you created, you, that you used to create manually. Also, there are some concepts missing, some abstractions, some abstractions that exist maybe in the language you come from, like Java or C Sharp, that don't exist in uh, JavaScript. And also, I'm definitely not a JavaScript hater. I love JavaScript, but uh, there are weird parts. To JavaScript, for example, the scope in any other language, the scope it is, is defined in a very strict way. Usually when you have a curly bracket, opening and closing curly bracket, but this way of scoping variables in JavaScript occurred recently because it occurred only since ECMAScript 6. And before that, when you wanted to have a specific scope in JavaScript, you had to create a function. That's why we ended up creating what was called immediately invoked function expression for this reason, when we wanted to have some things uh, to be private or to be accessible to a speci specific scope. So there, are, there were really weird ways of doing things in JavaScript. And maybe if you learn JavaScript and then end up in a, a legacy project, you will see things that are really puzzling at first. And it's because they will use all this old way, all this immediately invoked function expression. It was ways to create modules before modules were really well implemented in, in JavaScript. And also what makes JavaScript hard to learn is that it's it allows to make so many things nowadays. 
I'm recording this video in 2023, but you can use JavaScript on the front. You can use it with or without a framework. You can use it on the back end. Uh, you, you see, you, you can create a Chrome extension or brother extension with it. You can create hybrid mobile apps. You can create PWA with it. With it. You, you can do many, many things. You can even use it for um, in artificial intelligence. You can use it. Um, so you see, at first you need to learn the fundamentals of JavaScript and then decide what you want to do with JavaScript because there are lots of APIs that will be used for specific things. For example, you, you can use JavaScript because you want to create a custom video player and that you want, maybe you want to, to create a video player that you can use then to have A and B points and to loop between A and B. Maybe you want to allow users to add comment at specific parts of your video player. So you want to add these options. Maybe you want to allow people to collaborate or you want to create a kind of Zoom or Team app. So you see, then you would specialize on all the API uh, concerning Canva, which is used when you want to interact with the video. And you can you could have very, lots of options. So you see, if you want to use JavaScript to interact with the, the HTML, then you have an impressive number of methods that you can call. You So you see, after you've learned the fundamentals, you have to decide what you want to learn JavaScript for. So if you're a web programmer, it's certain that you will want to use JavaScript to interact with your CSS and your HTML, and it's very powerful to do these kind of things. If you're not into front-end programming, maybe you, you will learn JavaScript to be a back-end programmer using Node or uh, Express, Koa, or, or, or any of these numerous and great back-end framework and then you would create API 